Well, it was a week ago that seven children died in a house fire in a tiny farming community in rural Pennsylvania. The Klaus children ranged in age from nine months to 11 years old. Today, they were laid to rest amid concerns of protest. Dennis Owens from our sister station in Harrisburg was there and joins us now live. Dennis, this had to be heartbreaking. Kelly, it was going to be a sad and sorrowful day regardless as the Klaus family buried their seven children beside the church behi behind me here. It was a sad day, as I said, but adding to the sorrow, the potential for pickets, a tiny church in Kansas threatened to come here and protest. In the end, they did not show. In the end, it was peace overpowering protest. I call this almost like God's country. It is a beautiful slice of Pennsylvania. Peace and quiet are easily found in Perry County. So are chickens. It's the next thing closest to heaven. But amidst this natural beauty, an unnatural act. Seven children burned to death, leaving behind a charred house and scarred lives. Connie Fry lives a few towns over and lost her son in Iraq a few years back. I know what it was like to go with one coffin with your son in, but they have seven coffins with your children? No. No. Perry County is typically a welcoming place, but on this day, Strangers were told to keep their distance. No trespassing signs littered the land. State police kept a watchful eye for the Westboro Baptist Church, a group that notoriously protests funerals with vile signs and hateful speech, behavior recently upheld by the Supreme Court. We're not going to put up with it. We're not going to put up with it anymore, and they got to stop. Bill Raber was among dozens of motorcyclists gathered to shield the Klaus family from the radical church. We're here to make sure that, that those babies rest in peace, you know, just have a peaceful end for today. Peace is probably impossible to find when burying seven children, but there was no protest, no counter protest, no trouble. It does make one wonder why Westboro would have threatened coming here in the first place. They were blaming Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania took them to the Supreme Court and they've had other problems in Pennsylvania. A leather-clad legion promised to form a peaceful human shield if needed. It wasn't. Probably a good thing because restraint could not be guaranteed. Fuzz has been to Westboro pickets in the past. And had been for state police, they'd have probably got punched in the nose by me already. But Butz is even more direct. They go by the First Amendment. Well, we could always go by the Second Amendment. But no violence materialized. Babies were laid to rest. But for one family, the peace and quiet of Perry County is no longer so soothing. For the Klauses, it will forever be too quiet. One week ago, right now, the Klaus family was whole. Tonight, they are trying to fill a huge hole, and they will never succeed. In Loisville, Pennsylvania, Dennis Owens, ABC2 News. Kelly, back to you. All right.